deep in the gloom. Um, I've, we're running short on light. I've cleared out the cavern down there. And what I need to do is take one of the sheets of plywood and I need to extend the floor here. But to do that, I need to get rid of this old pump and the generator. The next time I have a van, I'll whip the generator out and I'll uh, get rid of it. But in the meantime, I'm going to make a trolley so that I can move the generator around with ease. Starting with this piece of wood. It's freezing on the inside. any further so I'll just hand tighten them into place to finish them off. Hold on, now let's flip it over. Oh my word! That is a health and safety nightmare. Um, for some reason I have a box of these which are some sort of galvanized screw that, but I'm never going to use them uh, because I was advised to start using stainless steel instead so um, I'm just using them up any way I can. Et voila! that onto that and then it's mobile. What are the odds? Big plastic box. Always need storage. Uh, next, clear out all of this rubbish.
take an inch out of this. And uh, that's where this fella comes in. God, I love this tool. I've done it again um, so I cut these boards as you can see very nice and then I discovered oh wait a minute this doesn't line up at all so I'm out by an inch the entire midsection of the boat all the way down is for inspection so I'll always be able to lift up boards here and check that everything underneath is okay that will have to be made to line up I don't know if you can see, but Linda's off on a tangent. The water's gotten quite low. Um, and you think Linda's bad? Check that out. I used to think that this chimney was the remnants of a factory, and for some reason was saved. It's actually a flue for the sewage system underneath. Right at the top of the chimney, is uh, the smell of sewage coming out of it. A bit of water bubbling up over there. And what I'll do is I'll uh, close the gate up here. So now I've closed the gate up there so that will stop the water from escaping but I'm emptying this um, just to see if it's the lock gate not closing properly because the paddles are down. Um, I'll give CRT a ring and uh, let them know what's going on. So I've done a little wander up here to Johnson's lock and uh, yeah there's no water going over the side. So see this should, this should be overflowing um, and the only water is that is teeny little bit of water coming out through the dock gate this is full um, so I think that's the source of the issue more so than anything else is that yes it's leaking in the lock below but there's no water going into this area there's probably a water shortage from above I'm at mile end lock now and uh, as you can see, it's not quite coming over that barrier, but it is going down there. So it's, it's, it is rising. I talked to Jack from the Canal and River Trust, and he said it looks like it might be a minor problem. So it may just be um, a shortage of water being sent down. Um, and uh, I'm assuming um, they're just going to turn on the water and send more water down. But, what CRT sometimes do is run water through a lock. Now I'm not going to do that, but I am going to empty this lock and send this water down to my boat. Oh, I'm not running water through the lock, I'm just emptying this lock to make some small difference. Let's get this lined up properly. So I'm going to cut off the end of this. So remember, the central section is for inspection. I need to put a sheet in here. One of, one of little Linda's secrets has been revealed. See the seesaw? And the reason is because this rib is higher than these two. At some point, Linda was parked on a beach or a mud flat. And right about here, there must have been a rock, so as a result, it's pushed this section up. It's the entire weight of the boat was put down on that rock. But that's the wonderful thing about steel, it's nice and bendy. 
Well, I'm sort of hoping that when I put the floor on top, it'll work out. Every time I move on to a new area, I have a new set of problems to sort out. Well, that's not gonna fit. By the way, just look at this, this is grease. I've never cleaned this, but look at this, this is grease. And underneath, the old red oxide, still there. This is overhanging. I won't be able to get the board in unless I was to bend it and then put it in, but basically it won't go underneath as one sheet. It just won't come down. Hmm, let me think on this further. I think I've just come up with a solution. Right, in the end, I got them in. Now, we still freezing. Um, let's do this floor. But before we do that, um, see, because I keep working on Linda, I never get any work done on Georgia. So Georgia is turning into Dorian Gray's picture, in which Linda's getting better and Georgia is falling apart. So, I'm going to fix something today. I'm going to have all the woodwork out. So here in the well deck of Georgia, um, as you can see, all of this wood is rotten and has been rotten for years. And it's now going to eventually break my ankle. So um, I have loads of spare plywood. I'm just going to cut up new covers for that. And that will make life that little bit better. Okay, find a piece of plywood that size. Plywood, all this plywood. Got to hold on to the big pieces because I have plans for those. This was the enclosure that the generator was kept in to keep the noise down. Yeah, look at that. Beautifully fitting in. Okay, let's take this one over. Ew, that is unfortunate. Okay, neither does that one work. The only one left is this one here. It's turning out to be a bigger job than I anticipated. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. Mark it up. Safer. Right, so now I have a new problem. Um, I have a hole that I need to fill. Very simply, cut! Fire! Ooh, arr, did someone say fire? What am I gonna do now? Oh yeah, I'm gonna set up the floorboards. I have a bit of a problem. Um, as you see, I have one, two, three, four floorboards. Um, because I only got four floorboards. And I miscalculated everything. Um, because I need six of that size or five. But uh, thankfully, I was able to figure out a solution. I remembered that I had the central board that was always in Linda, which I took up. It is perfect for what I need to do. So I'm actually going to reincorporate the central board and put it back in its original position. And mainly because I need it, because I'd have to go off and get more boards. But why not use the original board and keep a little bit of originality um, in the floor? Because um, that will be the only bit of the floor that was original to Linda. Mm.
fit in. Oh, that's cute. Right, it's all done and look, oh, fabulous. It's, oh God, look at that massive gap. So obviously I can see, I uh, must have, my eyesight's not great, so I must have uh, gone off the line and cut down at an angle, leaving this huge gap. Oh, finally, oh, that's so much better.